auxiliary spring adjustment. Many times you have teeth that are out of alignment when you use an orthopedic appliance and you can add auxiliary springs to your orthopedic appliance. The most common is a S spring which is embedded in the acrylic with an open end out of the acrylic and this is used to place to move laterals forward in this case. Now the S spring will be open at the most lingual position part of the tooth and usually the first activation is to use a Jerabac plier where you grab the spring and just open the end of the S spring, usually the width of the wire. And then in this case this tooth number seven is rotated mesial lingual and position lingually. So the first activation will to derotate and then after one month you can start pushing the tooth forward as you create space with your orthopedic appliance. Second activation will take the second part of the spring, move it forward, and then also open up the spring if you need to in the anterior. And at, you just walk the spring forward, keeping the spring in contact with the lateral, activating once a month the width of the wire, which will move the lateral into position. Both of these have S-springs on both sides. It's the same activation. Take the S-spring, open the end first, walk it forward, such as this. Now this spring I have overactivated. And what's happened when you overactivate an S-spring, it may disengage your appliance. If it disengages your appliance, take a little of the activation off and you basically just come back move the S-spring back a little bit and just make sure that it stays in contact with the wire greater than it was when you started.